Beautiful namaste, yogis. Welcome to our practice today. I'm sending you this video with love from Ojai, California. I just arrived late last night from Maui, a uh, long flight, a little bit of a car ride, and here I am in Ojai. Ah, oh, this valley will always have my heart. It is my former home, but one of those homes that you never actually leave. Every time I come back here, my heart sings. The practice this morning is a play into that journey of the heart. Like no matter where we go and what spaces we go into, we always have our heart's love to tap into in all these different shapes. Now, personally, this is my morning landing practice for just getting a little bit of that travel out of my body and into my soul so that I can be a little bit more present as I um, enjoy my time here in Ojai, which translates as the nest, right? Let's nest together. I'll meet you on the mat, top of the mat, standing. Let's go. All righty here, rock back and forth on your feet. Ah, so awesome to feel my feet in Ojai again. Center. I'm going to do the same with my heart by guiding my hands together right at my heart center. Dropping my thumbs just a little bit so I really am pressing right into my heart center, the Anahata Chakra, unstruck, unbeaten, unbroken. I'm deeply breathing in. Let it all go out through my mouth with a You might join me in a little inhale. And welcome, 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 a long landing exhale. My next inhale, I'll press through my feet, reaching my heart open and my arms up and my gaze up as I firmly press into the earth. Stretching up a little bit right and a little bit left. Now the hands being the motor organ of the heart, I'm gonna have my hands get involved. Right fingertips outside of left wrist, lengthen and open to the right, pressing a little bit more down through the left foot. A little bit of lift of the right rib cage, maybe gaze up towards this beautiful tree and sky and clouds. Hello, oh hi. All right, come back to center. <laughs> Stretch up right side, catch a hold, lengthen. Feel the joy as we reach it over to the left. Now this naturally ungrounds my right foot a little bit. I'm going to press down. Deep low belly lifts, heart lifts. Ah, lean a little bit deeper, hips to the right, fingers to the left. Gazing up at the sky now to get a little bit in my cervical spine. Big full inhale. Big long exhale. Yes, back to center. Unclasp the hands, give them a little shakety shake, 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 shakes. Catching that beautiful Ojai Valley energy, drawing that energy right back to my heart. Already that feels delightful and I'm gonna bow down to myself, finding that journey home to the heart, home to the valley, drop the head, shake it out. Downward facing dog, friends, in your own fashion, I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit. Walk the hands out, spread my fingers wide, and then walk the right foot back and then the left. Bend one knee and then the other, getting into the hamstrings. I also enjoy this in the low back as I give a little twist side to side. 
Back to center, come high up on your tippy toes, press through the hands, lift the sit bones, and then descend the heels down towards the earth, getting a beautiful stretch in the soles of the feet. Easy with the breath, grounding through the mind. Feeling my hands on the earth and the left foot, the right leg lifts up to the sky, bend the knee, dragon's tail, opening up the right hip, straighten out through the right leg, gaze forward, step the right foot forward in between your hands. Stay high up onto the left toes, heart reaches forward, low belly lifting up and in, left heel reaches back, shoulder blades slide down the back, and keeping all of that in my attention, I'm going to lift the heart, reach the arms up, stretch up, turn the palms in towards each other, crescent pose, little bit of left hip forward, right hip back, tailbone descends, heart lifts, gaze lifts up a little bit, big inhale. On the exhale, I'm going to let that carry me open to Veeravadrasana 2, Warrior 2 pose. Arms stretch out from the hearts, hips descend, tailbone drops down, gazing over the right hand, steady in the gaze, steady with the breath, steady in the heart and mind, soul, and body. Big inhale. Big exhale. Nice and grounded down through the feet into the legs. Straighten out through that right leg. Lift up through the heart and then reach forward with the right hand and drop the right hand down wherever it serves to assist in opening the heart. I'm going to drop the hands all the way down onto the earth as I reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. Spin the heart open to the sky. Press down through the left foot. Little bit of right hip back to allow for a little bit deeper opening in the right rib cage and lift from the underbelly and then lift from the belly, lift through the heart, crown of the head reaches away from the pinky toe side of the left foot. Nice big inhale here. Exhale, continue the journey by spinning the palm, rotate it back behind you, bend the left elbow. Maybe the hand reaches the sacrum. I'm gonna snuggle my fingertips back to reach the inner right thigh. Ah, this just assists in a little bit of an opening of the hips and the shoulders and the heart, deepening the breath into the tight spots. This might be where you want to land, but you might draw it forward to come into the shape of half moon. Root into the right foot, step the left foot forward. Takes me a few tries here. I'm going to drop the right hand down, lift up to the back of the left leg, flex the left foot, strong through the right leg, strong through the left leg. Open my heart to the left, I'm opening up to the valley here. And then I'll reach the left hand up to the sky. And this might be just where you'd like to stay steady with the gaze, steady with the breath, strong in the body, easy in the soul. Mind is calm and centered. Or maybe you'll want to take it a little deeper. If you were on the airplane too for six hours, maybe you'd like to do that. Bending <laughs> that left knee back behind you. Catch a hold of the foot, chapasana pose. Now kick the foot into the hand, lengthen the heart forward. Let that help carry the left shoulder back a little bit. Low belly to the spine. Lift the low belly, lift the heart, lift your spirits. Lift the left leg, point the toes. Easy release. You come back to the shape of half moon. Inhale here. Steady as you exhale. And then bend that right knee, step it back into the shape of warrior two puts. Vira Vadrasana two. Big inhale. 
Exhale, carries you forward to lizard pose. Both hands to the inside of the right foot. Toe heel the right foot out just a little bit. Drop the left knee. Now this might be plenty, but if you'd like to carry further, if you're maybe deplaning from a long journey, you might drop the elbows down onto the earth. It might feel extraordinarily awesome like it does for me to come to the pinky toe side of my right foot as I the right knee rolls out to the right. And this might be it, but I really i am in the mood for a full body stretch. I'm gonna reach my right arm forward and rainbow the right arm back as I bend the left knee and catch a hold of the left foot. Once again, kicking foot into hand, low belly lifts, heart lifts, gaze lifts, and I'm spin it up towards the beautiful sky. And of course, deep, full breaths. Big smile. Ah, oh. hello, oh hi. <laughs> Staying here with friends, Steve and Angie, thank you so much. I'm also staying with my old friend, oh hi. The release is soft. Drop the left foot down, spin the right palm to the sky. Now come up onto both hands, spin the right foot flat down to the earth. Tuck the left toes under, lift up to the back of the left leg. Crescent pose. Reach back through the heel. Plant the hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Home to downward facing dog, little wiggle and wobble. Let's give that a whirl, other side, root to the hands, left leg lifts, bend the left knee, open the left hip, dragon's tail, breathe. Even in this position here, a little bit of awareness into the belly, deep low belly to the spine. Gaze forward, step forward, left foot in between your hands, hop into the right toes, pause. Even here, right hip a little forward, left hip back a little bit, tailbone reaches towards the back heel, Heart soars forward and let that heart opening carry you up to crescent pose. Yes, enthusiastic through all 10 fingers. Little smile to the eyes, a little bright in the heart. Shiny through the eyes. Yes, right hip a little forward, left hip back, tailbone drops. One more inhale. Exhale, carry open, Viravadrasana two, warrior two pose. I'm gonna send my gaze over that left hand. Breathing, a little bit of drop in the left hip. A little bit of drop in the right hip, tailbone down, level out the hips, feel my nice strong feet down through the legs and I'm straightening out now through the Left leg, lean it forward, trikonasana, three angle pose. Hand finds its way. I'm gonna go down into the earth, but feel how that can assist in the opening of the heart, the long line from the tailbone out the crown of the head. Heart spins up towards the sky. Fingertips reach nice and long, big inhale. Big exhale. I'm gonna continue the journey of opening my heart by bringing that, hello, Rocco, right arm back behind me, catching a hold of my left inner thigh. Big deep spin once again. My friend Rocco came to say hi. <laughs> Breathe. Stay here or continue the journey. Gaze forward, like always watching where you're going. Set your intentions, set yourself up for success. Rock forward into the left foot, left hand down, right leg lifts straight and strong and steady. And the breath, and the mind, and the heart, and in the soul. Yes, right arm reaches up to the sky. Arda Chandrasana, half moon. 
maybe wanting to transition to chapasana, catching a hold of the right foot with the right hand and pressing the top of the foot into my hand and letting that carry my right shoulder back just a little bit as the belly comes in and the heart lifts and the gaze lifts. Half moon. Ah, yes, that sweet release and steadiness. Breathing. Grounded, open in the heart, steady in the breath. Delight in the soul. Step it back to warrior two. For a moment here to ground. Let's dive into the hips a little deeper, rock it forward. Both hands down in the inside of that left foot and onto the right toes again. Drop the right knee down. Stay here and breathe as the tailbone drops and the back of the pelvis opens and the kidneys and the adrenals get some air time. Or you might want to drop it down, coming down onto your forearms, drop your head. I'm going to spin to the pinky toe side of my left foot, open my left hip a little bit, let a big exhale happen. Grand finale here on the earth. The right knee bends, that right leg reaches back. I'm going to rainbow arc, touching the sky. Hello, wiggle my fingertips and reach back and get a big, deep, beautiful full body stretch. Pressing foot into hand, heart spins, breath deepens. A little oh, a little high, a little ooh, a little ah. <laughs> the exit, gaze down. Key, release the foot, release the hand. Back up, hands to either side of the left foot, tuck the right toes under, lift up the back of the right leg. Back to the shape of the lunge. From here, step, right foot forward to the left, bend the knees, Malasana squat pose. My hands find my way to the heart, knees wide and tailbone drops, heart lifting. Crown of the head reaches. I'm just gonna drop it down. Find my way to Sukhasana. Easy pose. Yes, feel the landing landing of your own awareness on your inhale and the surrender of your exhale once again allow the hands to feel super receptive as they as the palms find each other right at the heart the fingertips spin up towards the sky the thumbs reach back let them touch right in your heart center. And allow yourself to truly feel at home. Lots of love. Big, huge, oh, high blessings. Namaste. Hello.